So a little while ago I said, love what you hate. Believe that you can feel worthy of the results. This is the manifestation formula. Love what you hate about you. Believe that you can. That you can. And feel worthy. Which was gratitude. The video just before. I believe I'll probably title it Gratitude. Feeling worthy is gratitude. Gra gratitude. I don't know. Spelling's probably wrong. Love what you hate about you. Believe that you can. Feel worthy with gratitude. Here's the amazing thing. You're already doing it. At the creation and destruction current level of your life. You're already doing this manifestation formula. Loving what you hate about yourself. To live the life you're living at this level of frequency. This level of energy. Believing that you can. Which is really your confidence. This is your confidence level. Your confidence factor. This is your confidence level. The confidence to live the life you're already living. Physical, mental, spiritual, financial, family, career, and social. Every aspect of your life is based on the confidence that you believe you're allowed to have. Worthy of having. <clears throat> gratitude you're already doing that to live the life to live the life that you're currently living that's amazing that's magnificent you're already a magnificent creator of life you're already a magnificent creator using what's been given to you to create your life right here right now Loving yourself for who you are as you are right here, right now. Loving life for what it is as it is right here, right now. That idea is never going to change as you move up in quantums of energy, quantums of confidence, quantums of life. It's never changing. Once you move one, what's the secret? To love your life for what it is as it is right here, right now. To love yourself for who you are as you are right here, right now. You do that, you move up another quantum. Then you move up another quantum doing the same thing. How do you do it? By stuffing your heart filled with gratitude. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my life. You're already a magnificent creator. Using the magnificence of the universe to filter out through the seven areas of life to create your life. Physical, mental, spiritual, financial, family, career, and social. Seven areas of life. Which one of these is most important to you? So you make a decision, physical or mental, which one would you choose to keep in your life? Strong, great physical body or mental? Make a decision, which one's most important to you? Then jump down, let's just say mental one, then it's mental against spiritual, which one wins? Don't say spiritual because I have people all the time at the seminars, no matter what, so, oh, spiritual is my number one. It's like, oh, really? Tell me about your life. 
Then they end up telling me about everything that they do at church. And everything that they do at church ends up being social. So their church, so I've come to the conclusion, church is not spirituality for most people. Church is a social club for most people. If that offends you, I'm sorry. I'm not here to offend you. I'm not here to piss you off, maybe, to, to push your buttons, to learn, grow, and expand who you are. Learn, grow, and expand. If you're not learning, growing, and expanding, you're stagnant. You're dying. The journey of life is learn, grow, and expand. We move forward. If you stagnate, stagnate you die. <clears throat> so a lot of people who say spiritual is their highest value come to find out social is their highest value. They go there for the social activities. Now, if you go there truly to have a spiritual connection with the universe, with God, the creator, the infinite oneness, that's great. But you don't need to go to church to do that. My church is up on the mountain at my mountain house. Truly, it's every day. I'm thankful every day. I communicate with, the, with God, the creator, the infinite oneness, the Lord of life, which is light, gratitude. I communicate with that every day. But up on the mountain is where I would say is my church. It's where I have the greatest spirituality moments, I would say, is on the mountain. So you don't have to go to church to be spiritual is what I'm saying. So don't get distracted by, oh, my past trained me that spirituality happens at church. Don't fall into that trap. Be true to yourself. You got to find your values. You got to find what is most important to you, not to them. Which one wins? Which one wins? Which one wins? Which one wins? Between all seven, then you have a number one. Mine's family. So family, then you cross out family. Start again. Which one wins? 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 Then you have a number two. <clears throat> My number two is finances. So then you cross out financial. Which one wins? 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 Then you have a number three. <clears throat> My number three is extremely close. Three and four are extremely close between mental and physical, and they could switch. I'll put mental. They could switch places really easy. <clears throat> what is that? Physical and mental. Then which one wins, which one wins, which one wins? You can get the list, your whole list. Again, you have no idea until you do this how freaking important this is to you. Because understanding this, this is the blueprint that is running your life. If finances, as I said earlier, if finances is number seven, you have zero chance, and I mean zero chance, of ever becoming wealthy, of ever becoming financially independent. It's not happening. You'll work as a slave at a career you probably don't like for the rest of your life if finances is number seven. Now, what I want you to understand about this is this is the blueprint of your life. This is what you use the infinity that we've just been talking about. You use that infinity to manifest your life in this, okay? What you, one of the things that you need to understand is this is the power. The power already exists in you and you're already doing it and it's already on autopilot. You're manifesting your life. You're using the magnificence of the universe to manifest your life according to what is most important to you to what's least important to you. You're already doing it. You're not going to have some mythical, magical moment where all of a sudden, boom, it comes and boom. Now you start manifesting your life according to what's important to you. You're already doing it. So, one day I'm driving down the road here. In, in, uh, I live in the Atlanta area. 
many years ago now, golly, probably, I'm going to say close to 20, oh, probably 20 years ago. Well, no, not 20 years ago. 15 at least. And I was contemplating, I was talking to the universe, talking to God, talking to the infinite oneness. It's like there's no way there would be a system created where a person whose finances is their number one value, that they're any more important than a person whose family's their number one value. Spirituality is really high for me too, but for me, and I know it doesn't follow in this seven, but for me, spirit encompasses all of my areas of life. So, and it may for you too. But anyway, a person whose finances is their highest value is not more important than somebody whose finances is not their highest value. It's like there's no way God, the Creator, the Infinite Oneness would make a system where one person's values is more important than another. It's like there's no way. And then it like hit me like a bolt of lightning. Oh my God. I sat there. I'm driving down the road. Oh my God. I get it. And this thing like unrolled itself. I don't even know what it was, but it unrolled itself like like a, a red carpet brrr, out in front of me. Just brrr, like that. <coughs> and it was just a weird image. It didn't mean anything, but I got it instantly. It's like, oh my God. I just unraveled the secret to a person manifesting their life, how they would love it to be for every single person on the planet. I just unraveled the laws of wealth for every single person on the planet. And I just sat there as I was driving going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Thank you. Whichever one is your highest value, again, out here there's a feeling that is driving your life somewhere way out here is a feeling that's driving your life. We're not going to work on that right now. This is just the beginning stages, right? You can't become a master by listening to the beginning of a few audios of a course that is will take you, if you go through my entire course, it's going to take you several years to get through the whole, the whole thing. You are going to begin to master your life along the way. However, the course is going to take several years to get through the whole thing. Family. Finances. There's no way somebody would make a system that one person's values are more important than another. In that moment, I realized that every single person on the planet is equally powerful. Back to that little sentence that I said earlier. Money's not everything, but it is what everybody pays attention to. So we're programmed, especially in this Western world, to believe that the person who's making more money is more successful in life. The truth is they're not. There's no such thing as success or failure. Let me say that again. There's no such thing as success or failure. There's only results. We put success here and failure here, but they both balance out to a result. No such thing as success or failure, only results, the results of your life that you manifested according to the ones that are most important to you, which is as equally valuable to every other person on the planet. No person on the planet is more valuable than you are. If we're all equal, how do I know that? Because we're all born, we're all created on the planet by a creator that does not think, judge, or reason, just loves us for who we are as we are. One of the things that I say often to people is, if you're good enough for the creator to create you just the way you are, why aren't you good enough for yourself? <clears throat> so, you have one that is highest, highest on your list. It's driving your ship. So how do you make changes in your perceptions? One of the things, how do you make a change in this perceptions, perceptions, yield your emotions, yield your actions, yield your results, so that you can have different results, is to make a realignment, not a realignment, a new association in the hierarchy of your values to where you make whatever, you want to move finances into your life to where it's important enough for you to do something about it because you want to be a 
economic master, not an economic slave. And what I mean by that is an economic master, you get to a point where the money your money earns pays for your life. That's the goal, to get to a place where the money your money earns pays for your life. Once I got serious about this, it was 42 months. And it's another financial thing. It's another whole, we could spend a whole day on it. So I'm not going to go into it in that great depth in this series. But as you move forward and uh, become a member in the 55 audio uh, that you get, there's one whole section of like seven audios that are on it, six or seven, maybe five. I don't remember. The light, it's at the end. An economic master is a person who has gotten to a point where the money their money earns pays for their life. The universe put me in that position 42 months once I got serious. So it took 42 months. That's like nothing. That's three years and six months. 42 months. It's nothing. An economic slave is a person that loves to pay interest to what I call the banksters. For their entire life, they have to have money coming in to pay their bills. They have to go earn money. That's an economic, economic slave. And you like putting fuel in the banksters' jets. They're all flying around in jets. Well, they need fuel, so they need you. They need fuel for their jets, so they need you to keep making payments to them so that they can keep flying around in, in their private jets, land in their helicopter on their private yachts. That's an economic slave. An economic master is you get to a place where the money your money earns pays for your life. Memorize that sentence and start focusing on it. You want to get to a place where the money your money earns pays for your life. When that happens, you're free and your mind expands, your consciousness expands, you learn, grow, ex you learn, grow, and expand expands, your inspirations expand, become free. That's all I can say is you become free. It's just different. And until you get there, for me to try to describe it to you, you're not going to, you got to get there. And once you get there, you're like, oh my God, how did I ever live without this? So, I'm going to just focus on finances. How do you move finances up? Let's say finances was your number seven, financial. Again, financial is not the money you earn. The money you earn is your career. And believe it or not, career is down here for me. It's either five or six. It's pretty low on my list. Social is absolutely my last one social if you're around me at the seminars or on the calls or whatever and i don't care about your kids i don't care about your pets i just don't care i'm sorry i know i'm a dick it comes across as i'm a dick but it's just not i mean i'm not a dick it's just not important to me i will ask to be polite to be friendly but truthfully, I don't care. I'm a get to the point kind of guy. I'm a let's just get to the point. Okay? Get to the point. It's like I hate going to get my hair cut. Why? Because they want to talk to me about crap that I could care less about. I don't want to know about your kids. I don't want to know about your dogs. Just cut my hair. I want to get in and out of here as fast as possible. This is not social hour for me. This is cut my hair so I can get out of here. Okay? So if you run across me and I'm in that state, I promise my heart is huge and I love you even if I come across as a dick. I don't know I'm a dick. My kids told me, they've trained me to know, like, Dad, you're an ass. And I was like, no, I'm not. A, no, you're an ass. You were just an ass to that person. Like, no, I wasn't. Yes, you were. It's like, okay. So I say please and thank you a lot more now than I used to because honestly, I don't know if I'm being a dick. I don't know when I'm being an ass. I don't know. It's oblivious to me, so I just say please and thank you a lot. If I ever offend you at a seminar because I seem short, don't take it personal. I'm just being really focused at the moment, okay? All right, so <clears throat> let's say finances was your lowest. How do you move it so that it's important enough for you to pay attention to? Because you're only going to pay attention to your top three values unless there's a forest fire going on at one one of your lowest values, a brush fire, you need to go put the fire out. Your highest values is where you're going to spend your money, your time, your energy, your inspirations are going to happen. It's automatic. It's like breathing air. It's just automatic. It's like breathing air. Down here, it's like breathing water. It's like trying to breathe water. It doesn't work very well, right? Up here, it's breathing air. Down here, it's breathing water. 
for me socially is breathing water okay not a fan don't take it personal so <clears throat> how do you move finances so that you will actually follow the financial freedom formula that you're going to learn as you go through the course so that you can become financially free and be an economic master and live a life that you're inspired about You have to make finances important enough to your top three values, and you do it by answering questions. How does becoming financially free serve my family? How does becoming financially free serve, let's say mental, serve me mentally? Serve me spiritually if that's your top three. Focus on your top three first. You answer that question over and over and over. How does becoming financially free serve my family? How does finan becoming financially free serve me mentally? How does becoming financially free serve me spiritually? And you answer it for all seven, okay? But first you're going to focus here. How does becoming financially free help me learn, grow, and expand, learn, grow, expand my ideas, my consciousness, my awareness with my family? How does it help me learn, grow, and expand with my mental? How does it learn, help me learn, grow, and expand with my spiritual? Again, whatever your top three are. That's three prompters for each of those that's three prompters for each of the seven that <clears throat> that's 21 answers right there now how many answers are you going to have to answer this to make a change if financial is way down here it's going to take a lot but keep doing it Keep asking the question. It doesn't have to be all in one day, all in one sitting. Just keep focusing on how does becoming financially free? How does accumulating or saving a portion of every dollar that comes in the door, how does that serve me, family, and so on and so on and so on through your the hierarchy of your values? How does accumulating, managing wisely or investing and in managing wisely a portion of every dollar dollar that comes in the door or whatever your currency is wherever you live serve my hierarchy of values and you answer the question how does accumulating a portion of every dollar help me learn grow and expand that's now times that's one times three times seven again and again and again you keep coming up with these questions Depending on where finances is on your list and how disassociated you are from finances, could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It could be 100 times that you have to answer this question, but you answer this question and it will slowly work its way up and you'll hit the magic point is what I call, and it is literally like going over to the wall and hitting the light switch and flipping it on and the light switch is on and all of a sudden you start accumulating money for the purposes of long-term wealth to serve whatever your highest values are you can't turn it off once the switch is on once the switch is on you can't turn it off this segment that i showed you right here you can do this for anything in your life anything we just did finances in a broad spectrum Anything in your life, you can make it important enough to your highest, highest value that you can begin to change the results of your pair according to the hierarchy of your values. Your relationships, your family, your finances, anything else that you want to manifest in your life, this right here will make it possible because right now you are on autopilot you're using the manifestation formula on autopilot 
you can switch the autopilot off and become the pilot of your own ship by switching this around then the switch comes on and the autopilot is back on but it's on headed you in a different result this works every single time does not fail period does not fail if you do the work you may have to answer the question a hundred times 150 times 200 times i don't know but i know anything worth having is worth working for i know a mastered life is not a one-day lottery winning event i know it takes time and effort I think that's probably going to be it for this little series. That makes it four videos. Each one's right around 20 minutes. That's probably plenty of time. I know I've covered the basics in here, and I know that I've covered exactly how life works. You manifest your life according to what's most important to you, resonating at the frequency of confidence, the frequency of confidence that you believe you're worthy of having, either low or high from your past to your future you can transform it according to your values into more and more and more and more of what you would want to have in order to keep a want though in order to keep a want wants live up here you think wants have more positives than negatives this is what you want this is what you don't want so you can turn a want created in your life using this, but you must turn it into a love or it will not last. And you turn it into a love by finding the equal and opposite positives and negatives of whatever it is that you want. You turn it into a love and you'll have it for the rest of your life. If it's just a want, it'll be a passing fad. It'll be an infatuation. It won't stick around. You'll crash it back down to your confidence line, what you believe you're worthy of. You'll, cra you'll crash it back down to your confidence factor. You will. Everybody does. I have done it to the tune of millions of dollars. And now I'm on this path. The path of long-term eternal wealth. The long-term eternal mission, vision, inspiration, and purpose. You can use mission, vision, inspiration, and purpose Mission, vision, inspiration, and purpose. How does accumulating and managing wisely a portion of every dollar that comes into the door, how does that serve my family with my mission? How does it serve my family with my vision? How does it serve my family with my inspiration? How does it serve my family with my purpose? If you don't really have a mission, vision, inspiration, and purpose, yet you do. It's inside you. It's in your heart. Right now you have a brick wall blocking it. A brick wall blocking your heart from what your mission, vision, inspiration, and purpose is. I'm going to help you break through the brick wall, get into your heart, and find what your love of loves are. Move forward with your mission, vision, inspiration, and purpose towards the destiny of your life. As you continue to come through the rest of the courses, we'll help you do that more and more and more all right guys i love you thank you thank you thank you thank you for taking the time to go through to go through this course i look forward to meeting you in person if i haven't yet I look forward to seeing you at a live event a live seminar I look forward to talking to you on a conference call zoom call whatever i know i've given you enough material in this little we're now at 69 minutes of material around 68 minutes, 69 minutes, 70 minutes, a little over an hour, you know, we're going to be just under an hour and a half. You can change your life just with this course right here. If you have any questions, get on the calls, ask me questions. I'm more than happy to, to share my life with you, man. I'm more than happy to help you create a life you would absolutely love living. And back to the money, guys. If you made it this far, I'll be astounded. But if you did make it this far, you now know how to earn more money. You got to love yourself for who you are as you are right here, right now. You can earn more money by making it more important to you. You can manage your finances better. 
the more money that you accumulate and manage wisely, the more the universe wants to send you money to accumulate and manage wisely. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see you soon. Look forward to, uh, to meeting you. Love you. Take care.